What's going on guys, it's DG back with another video. Today, I'm gonna be reviewing and comparing the KD15 on Pearl to the KD16 on Pearl. So let's get right into it. So for traction on the KD15 has a topographical map pattern, very Kobe 9-esque. And then for the 16s, it has that gear pattern, which is kind of hard to see because it is all one color, but you guys can kind of see that there. Traction on both of these are pretty good. They're actually really good. I would give the slight edge to the KD15 though, because whether it's translucent or solid rubber on the outsole, it didn't affect the performance at all. And actually it gripped really, really well on every single court. Whereas the 16s, these are, I think, semi-translucent, but I did performance test the KD16 New York to New York colorway, which had a clear outsole in addition to like solid outsoles on the side and that colorway did not perform as well in my opinion compared to the solid color solid rubber outsoles so i'm gonna give the slight edge to the kd15 for the cushion setups i'm going to give the win to the kd15 because it has full length zoom strobel and then the midsole is cushion very comfortable ride really good for flat footers because you're feeling that entire thing and it just felt great. Very bouncy, very responsive at the same time. For the KD16s, it really did a departure from the previous models because it has no zoom strobe in this as a four foot zoom unit and Kushlan midsole, same thing, but in the back, it has an air strobel unit. So basically you have zoom in the forefoot, Kushlan midsole, and then air strobel in the back. Still very, very comfortable shoe. But in my personal opinion, I do think that the KD15 is more optimized for performance, at least in my personal opinion again. So I'm going to give the win for the cushion to the KD15. Let's talk about the aesthetics and colorways up next. So I'm going to give it to the KD15 in terms of the Aunt Pearl colorway. I think these are absolutely immaculate, amazing colorway from Nike Basketball. And you guys can see that pink is very, very muted, very nice, very clean. And there's not too much going on in the shoe, but there's also a lot of details on the shoe as well. Different materials, you guys see that kind of rugged suede and then the felt and the liner on the tongue right here. It's really nice. The On Pro colorway on the 16 is still really good. They try to go with the same kind of pink on the upper, but they also have that two-tone with this hot pink on the bottom, which is a very nice play, very different, very nice in person, I would say, in comparison to pictures. These really, really pop on feet. Very, very nice shoe. So I would recommend just getting these if you don't have the 15s. But in terms of the colorways alone, I'm going to give it to the 15s. In terms of the silhouette, I am also going to give it to the 15s because this is one of the best looking Nike basketball shoes in a while, in my personal opinion. KD16 still looks really good, but if we're going to compare the two, I'm going to pick the aesthetics for the KD15. In terms of materials, I'm going to give it a tie. They're pretty much the same thing. But when we break it down to just these two colorways, the On Pro colorways on the 15, the On Pro colorway on the 16, I'm going to give it to the 15. I'm going to give it to the 15 because it has that rugged suede right here. You guys can see that nice material on the tongue. And overall, it just, just feels a lot more premium than the 16s. The 16s don't really have any premium touches outside of the laces, which come with that um, rigid lace system which is really cool, but I'm going to give the overall materials in terms of just like premium feel quality to the 15s. In terms of performance for both of these models, they're pretty much the same, consists of textiles and mesh, and you have those plastic wings on each side of the shoe, so nothing too crazy. The fit, I'm going to give it to the KD16 Aunt Pearls because this shoe, the KD16 as a model, heavily improved in terms of the fit of the shoe because the 15s fit true to size, the 16s fit true to size, but the 15s have a very notorious heel slip issue, which I really did not enjoy. No matter if you went down half a size, up half a size, stay true to size, the lockdown in the heel was just not good. They should have incorporated like another lace hole in the back and then made the laces longer. I think that would have remedied the issue. There's heel slippage in the 15s, none in the 16s. So for the fit, it's an easy win to the KD16. 
In terms of support, I'm going to give it to the 16s because it has a better fit. I think the lockdown is pretty much the same, but at the same time, there is heel slippage in this shoe. You can get over it like I did, and this shoe is an amazing performer in terms of just cushion traction. Materials are really nice. There is just that a little bit of a heel slip issue. But in terms of just like overall support, I'm going to give it to the 16s simply because the fit is better, but they both have wide bases, very nice support on the shoe, very stable. You're not going to feel like you're going to roll your ankle in these. Even with the heel slip issue, I never felt like I was going to roll an ankle. It was just more so an annoyance about the shoe. But for the support, I'm going to give it to the 16s. I think aesthetically and colorway wise, I'm going to give it to the KD15 Aunt Pearl because this colorway is probably top five Aunt Pearls ever. And the performance on this model is very, very good. The only downside to this shoe is the heel slip issue. But in terms of what I would choose to play in right now, I'm really liking the 16s. They're really starting to grow on me, especially if you have like this monochromatic outsole. I think it grips really well. It doesn't really squeak as loud as the 15s, but the grip and the bite is still very, very good. Cushion is not as good on the 16s, but it is very, very comfortable still, very responsive, great for all positions, very versatile as well, in addition to the 15s. But the fit on the 15s is just something that you have to break in, something that you have to get over. And the KD16 is such a delight in terms of just like very good, true to size, one-to-one -one fits. It just plays really well, very comfortable not really any hot spots in the shoe so even the interior is very nice for me as a wide footer and so right now i would choose the kd16 to play in because aesthetically these aren't as good as the 15s but performance wise they're on par and the fit just feels so much better to me so right now i'm going to pick the kd16 aunt pearls to play in but aesthetically i have to give it to the 15 aunt pearls in my opinion, top five KD Aunt Pearls all time. For the prices, I would definitely just try to get the 16s because they're going for retail right now. And I know they've sold out in some places, but they're still on resale markets for pretty low prices in comparison to what they would be in the future. 15s, I'm pretty sure they're going for like 300 over that as well. So this is a very popular coveted shoe. And so if you're trying to just pick one, just go with the 16s because they're still going for a lot less and the performance is nearly just as good. So overall, y'all, leave a comment down below letting me know which one of the KD15 or the KD16 Aunt Pearls do you personally like better? Did you get the KD16 Aunt Pearls? Because these are still sitting in some places, some sizes on Nike.com. Like this video, especially if you made it this far. Subscribe down below if you haven't already and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.